we've got a new update star citizen 1.0 is finally on the release view let's talk before we get into this video i'd like to let y'all know that i'm doing a giveaway for an lti orgo atlas in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribing and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of december let's get straight into this video all right guys really uh, exciting times we finally got a roadmap roundup and this time it includes a lot of new information really interesting let's just get straight into it all right so it says here right um star citizen alpha 1.0 is finally being added to the release view here so let's just see what cig says here it says following the reveal of star citizen uh 1.0 at citizen con 2954 we're excited to introduce a new addition to the release view in the public roadmap this column outlines the high level objective for the 1.0 persistent universe offering a clear vision of where we're headed while it's not a comprehensive list of every feature it highlights the core goal that will shape the 1.0 experience the new column represents our development journey towards 1.0 allowing us to continuously release features and content ahead of and leading into the official 1.0 launch as features and content are completed and ready for the next live patch they'll be migrated from star citizen 1.0 column into a dedicated patch specific column this approach lets us deliver regular updates to the live servers while giving you a clearer picture of what to expect from the 1.0 experience overall so this is really nice what we're going to do is we're going to go over the release view towards the end of this video all right so they also mentioned some notable changes for october 30th all right so it says here uh the release view um following cards have been added to the 3.24 column on the release view it says here the miss starlands and max which is what we've been expecting um so i'm really excited for that it seems like it's going to be the uh, 3.24.3 patch uh the ie patch so we're going to expect to see that uh so the argo csv sm um i believe this is the one that they already um already um released already rsi polaris is going to be a big one um, the Anvil Hornet F7C R Ghost Mark II, the Anvil Hornet F7C S Tracker Mark II, the Acidic Caves, which we already have, um, Rock Caves, um, additional player customization. I believe they already added this already. Multi tool updates. I believe they already added this already. So it's really interesting. So now they've added some more context here. It says, upon review of the support required for server mesh and pyro and general stability of 4.0, we made the choice to temporarily remove several deliverables from the 4.0 release to free up necessary engineering bandwidth to prepare for launch. This list includes engineering gameplay, which is unfortunate life support, fire hazard and fire extinguishers, charge and drain, and transit refactor man this is this is a lot <laughs> this is a lot being cut out uh some of the main um features were engineering gameplay which i was really expecting for 4.0 but i kind of understand they're, they're running towards the end of the year they need to also deliver a 4.0 patch okay so we're aware that many of you are looking forward to these features especially engineering gameplay but rest assured that we're committed to pulling these back in as soon as possible meanwhile several features that were planned for 4.0 have been pulled towards into the 3.24.2 such as the new vehicle hud mf network additional player customization and multi-tool updates as those were far along uh, for us to bring them to you all sooner rather than later additionally the addition of the resource network allows us to partially deliver on some of the core engineering gameplay functionality in the form of updates power management mfds with more to come so you can already notice that resource network is associated with uh, the new mfd update so they've already done component changes as well uh, with this um, in the live build right now it says here therefore the following cards have been removed from the 4.0 column and will reappear in an incremental patch once we are we have more detail on their timing so that's life support engineering fire hazard fire extinguishers solar burst that's unfortunate um charge and drain and transit system refactor all right so earlier in this video we mentioned star citizen alpha 1.0 they did update it so now we now have a new column here so let's let's get rid of all this three dot stuff right let's just talk about 4.0 and 
on Star Citizen 1.0. All right, so new things that they added. All right, Starware. So we can expect Starware. We can expect law and security. All right, so it says implementing an update system that handles law infractions along with security response to criminal activity. Interesting. Planetary Shield. So they explained this already in the Citizen Con. It says introduce the introducing planetary shield tech, which proves maximum protection for ground locations, including player bases from hostile attacks. Ownership. It says implementing a robust ownership system for items, vehicles, and more, including the ability to tra transfer ownership both legally and illegally really interesting stuff okay okay guild system this is going to be big introducing guilds to the percent universe which provides rewards and content for different professions to players as they complete uh, contracts and earn reputation really interesting insurance taxes and warranties as implemented a new system that handles medical items and vehicle insurance and associated fees as well as mechanisms to retrieve lost or destroyed vehicles. Okay, that's nice. Our reputation V2 is integrating the reputation system with the guild and rewards, as well as the addition of an improved reputation app. Really interesting. All right. Um, here it says new player professions. It says here addition of new player professions to the person universe, such as a builder crafter explorer athlete and more I'm really interesting to see how this is going to pan out the next one here says death of a spaceman finally it says here this system will forever raise the stakes in the persistent universe as it adds the ability for player characters to incur permanent injuries or death damn that's it's gonna be heavy <laughs> ai bleeds oh nice ai blades is finally coming in okay a new vehicle component enabling um, to autonomously operate of various aspects of vehicles such as turrets. That's going to be big. The community is really looking forward to this one. Player space stations implementing the ability to build home among the stars with the introduction of player made space stations. Really interesting. Crafting is a big one. It says implementing the ability for players to craft various items uh, using resources from throughout the persistent universe base building it says here all work uh, encompassing the ability for players to construct and maintain bases including resource generation commerce and customization really really nice all right player to player trading it says implementing the ability for players to set up their own shops and sell wares to other systems all right interesting Player organizations. This is big. It says implementing the ability to create and fully manage player organizations, including a dedicated mobile glass app. This is big. One of the things I'm really looking forward to. Social mobile glass apps. All right. So creation of the new mobile glass app to manage friends and contracts, as well as the ability to easily find and create groups. Really nice citizenship so now elevate your status in diverse by becoming a citizen to gain unique rewards and benefits so i hope this will allow us to buy specific ship like certain ships maybe lock out certain like military grade ships to be able to be purchased in game uh for citizens so right now by default um everybody will start as i i forget the other day the name for it right and then you'll work your way to become a citizen so um hopefully they lock up some really special rewards if you become a citizen by just completing certain quests with certain um orgs within the game all right so that is a lot for gameplay so now on the core tech here they are adding global illumination it says implementing global illumination providing further visual improvements to the lighting of both interior and exterior spaces that's nice star audio what is this a new suite of tools and tech aimed to aim at improving the quality and fidelity of sound in Star Citizen. I'm really curious to see what this is going to be about. Star Sim. So now I think this is what they used to call Quanta. I believe they just renamed it as Star Sim. It says backend systems and tools simulating uh, the state of the universe and economy and dynamically uh, response to player 
action. It's really interesting. So this is going to be big. This is going to be the economy right here. So that's going to be very big. All right. Next one is going to be content instancing. It says here, it says implementing new technology that allows both existing and new content to be instanced for more crafted group gameplay and experiences. Really interested to see what they come up with this. They did showcase a little bit of this um, in CitizenCon. Dynamic server meshing is going to be in here as well as so implementation of the dynamic scaling and server reassignment for server meshing, allowing for MMO scale player counts. So these guys are already pushed for 2000 players, which is kind of insane. All right. So now Genesis Star Architect is a new tool that scatters ground locations based on environmental and designer data to the uh, populate the world of star citizen unprecedented scale so with the high player counts that they want in the game they need to do this this is going to be mandatory um, for them to add more locations for players to visit once the player count increases right i mean these guys are looking at thousands of players so that's they're going to need a lot of places to to do so they're going to use star architect for that so now under genesis it's going to be planet tech v5 it says implementing the next generation of world creation and increased scale complexity and believability so i'm really excited for this one because it looked beautiful when they showcased it and then dynamic weather under genesis it says real-time simulation of weather fronts on a planetary scale including rain wind and thunder really really cool really really cool stuff can't wait for that all right so that's core tech so under uh missions and events it says here there's going to be a main story it says take on a journey through the star citizen universe by experiencing a handcrafted story with a unique challenge and reward this is going to be big this is going to be big for especially for the new players it's going to guide them through learning different mechanics of the game through a story based um uh, crafted story is um especially so um it's going to be very big for new players to at least go through it we haven't gone through it and um, we learned it by you know trial and error so but the new players are going to go through this craft story and uh, and i believe once you go through this craft story i think you get the citizenship maybe i don't know but we'll have to see all right so next is going to be location story so new missions and narrative arcs set in specific areas allowing players to experience the uniqueness of various locations in the verse all right up next year is station warfare it says introducing station warfare where player organizations battle over multiple ground and space locations to gain protection of planetary shield in law star systems this is going to be huge this, this is going to be one of the things that's going to make star citizen always exciting because it's, it's going to be an already um set environment that allows players to always be engaging each other in pvp for those that are interested and this is going to be on the organization level so it's it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting how this thing pans out all right so now those are your missions and events so now worlds right it says here um imperial sports federation a league of sports organizations that's band together to standardize competition competitive sports throughout the empire okay utility tunnels it says a new location archetype that uh, brings sandbox content to landing zones such as the municipal works under our corp interesting all right so now the next system um is an unclaimed planetary system situated at the border of an unusually dense and dark stellar cloud it consists of an f-type main sequence star orbited by three planets and an asteroid belt i wonder how massive this asteroid belt is I'm really curious all right so now it says the console so now it says organized as the governing body for illegality the console is a collective of syndicates gangs and outlaws who mandate criminal activities throughout the system really interesting they did cover this mercenary guilds is uh formed after first contact with the xian the mercenary guild provides combat and logistics expertise to all corners of the universe really interesting the academy of science has expanded to become a congress of scholars uh, dedicated to the expansion of knowledge throughout the universe mm, interesting 
United Resource Workers. It says protecting the people who are the lifeblood of the industry. The United Resource Workers can always be found hunting and harvesting minerals and scavenging um, or crafting. So these will be the different factions you'll be interacting with to do certain missions, all right, depending on the, the career that you choose, okay? All right, so next here, it says Interstellar Transport Guild. It says one of the oldest profession unions in the UAE, the Interstellar Transport Guild oversees the movement of goods and people throughout the universe. Interesting. Building interiors, it says gameplay focus layouts to fill the interior of various buildings in landing zones and other points of interest. Interesting. Okay. The Castra system is a system that they did show at uh, Citizen Con as well. It says Castra is the planetary system in the United Earth of Empire at the end of the Messer era. Era. This is going to be 2546 to 2792. The system was opened up to non-military settlement and has since become a center of trade and tourism. Really interesting. Yeah, Castra is a really nice system. I'm really curious to go to actually go there and visit. And next is going to be Terra, also posed for 1.0. Terra system is a planetary system in the United Earth of Empire, made up of one meso planet and one terrestrial planet, two super Earths, damn, and one G type star named Terra Nova. So I think Terra is going to be a huge hub for a lot of players because it's probably going to be, it's essentially going to be like like the soul system and i think there's going to be a lot a huge population of players and npcs that's going to be living in terra so it's going to be really interesting to see um once we get our hands on uh, star citizen 1.0 finally um but you guys let me know what do you guys find most exciting in the comments down below before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one.